Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lucky. I'm bringing you more Dragon's Dogma, number two. So, big fan of Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen. Been a big fan of Dragon's Dogma so far, number two. Despite what everybody's been talking about with all the other stuff, we won't even talk about it here because I think the game is excellent. A um, little bit of jank here and there. Um, I would consider it to be a great, not an all-time great. Not like an Elden Ring or Dark Souls or the Final Fantasy, some of those Final Fantasy games or some of those other great games, you know, uh, Vice City, whatnot. But it is a great game. So we were doing all sorts of quests last couple episodes. We took care of like seven quests in one episode. <clears throat> Now we're trying to save up money to buy a house. We broke the magistrate out of jail and found him a nice library to hang out in. He's become one of our allies. And we're slowly gathering evidence against Queen Disa, the regent, who's trying to put her son on the throne, even though her son doesn't seem to want any part of her schemes. She captured us, cursed us, sold us into slavery, put a false arisen in our place on the throne, and is using his, him like a puppet. Now we're heading out to his village to figure out what his history is. Now his village is in between the two countries, so I am of this theory where he is one of the royal blood of the other country, Bethal. You know, we're in the country of Vermont, and the other country country is Bethal, B-A-T-H-A-L. And I think he's one of the royalty there, and I think they're working in some way where she's going to marry into their family and rule both countries or something like that. I'm not sure, but let's find out. We're headed to the Nameless Village. Venture to the eastern edge of Vermont and uncover what you can of the false sovereign's origins. Then return to Captain Branton and appraise him and apprise him of your findings. Let's get it on. Hmm. So, we've got this awesome sword that we bought from the merchant there in town. At the capital city of. Oh my gosh, I always get them mixed up. I always call it Vermont, but it's Ver Vernworth. Fernworth, the capital of Vermont. <clears throat> so we got this awesome sword from the merchant there. And I like it. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here. That's my barge move where I shoulder him. Oh, I'm picking a few. We little need for a campsite at present. It is well to be prepared for over preparation. Okay, we'll so when you hold L1, and you, then you can use the D pad to use items. That's like clutch. That was the one thing I wanted. I didn't want to, have to always open the menu to use items. What is there a secret soak in here? I've got a good feeling about this one. Do you now? Well, if we break this well open, eh? No, that would have definitely done it if it were to break. <clears throat> okay. We are none of us alike in vocation. That is most fortuitous. I see it as a glad thing. We are well poised to supplement each other's strengths. I thought I saw something up here. Goblins, master. Shame I've no advantage against this bow. Are we all in yeah. the same boat? Where we at? You guys take care of those goblins. I'm kind of looking at the shoreline. <clears throat> now, I know this is a good game because it takes full advantage of my ADD. <clears throat> and I just want to keep peeking around each corner. Peeking around each corner. But I swear, once we look around this corner, we'll go to the village, guys. Even the sound of the water is fantastic. Oh my gosh, what's this? Coastal cavern? I never would have expected to find a cave in a place like Let's check it out. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh. Might I recommend uh -huh. an adventure inside before Oh god, things? I thought I was gonna drown right there. Or go into the brine. Gonna get out of the brine. Three thousand gold, that's huge. Holy cow. Copper ore. 
That's kind of whatever. Oh. Oh, oh dice his tail in one move there. So that's Bello. Random sweep is what I want. Yeah, whatever. Bunch of nothings. That move is gnarly. Oh, God. That move's sick, too. Uh. Well, my best to match your skill, Master. Do we really lose one of our pawns here? Shit. Fighting right by the water. I'll combine my magic with yours. That you might pass the spell off. Come on, where you at? There he is. Go, go. I knew he'd come right to the point especially. Whoa. Hello. Ooh. Oh! That was perfect. Wow, look at that lightning just destroy him. Good that we might always be so in step eight. So some Saurians, some treasure chests, bush riders, and ring of resiliency. Those sound cool. Bush riders, bush raiders, leg armor crafted from two types of leather, simple, functional wear, well suited to traversing grassy thickets and ravines. Yeah, they're cool. Still prefer my blessed waist cloth. The other one was a ring, I think. Ring of precipitance. Boost magic. Okay, well we can get that to Muad'Dib, right? <clears throat> oh, gold ore. Excellent. This might be gold too, then. No. I'll harvest what I can, should it please It's copper. You. Oh, the fish. Oh, of course, you get a fish for knocking it over. Who oh, are your rotted fish that's been on a stick? It was a fascinating tale those soldiers outside the palace that... were discussing. Yes, and our seekers token finally. God, we've been looking for one of those forever, man. <clears throat> so it's pretty safe to assume that every point of interest will have one. My own master of this. But that might be a bold assumption to make. Always consider game development to be a game of cat and mouse between the game developer and the customer or the gamer. Um, where the developer is always trying to figure out what the customer slash gamer wants and his tendencies are, and then tries to get the game to act and play a certain way so as to fool him and his tendencies, which is what I think you want to do. Which is what immersion is at the end of the day, right? Fooling yourself into believing what you're watching or reading or thinking. <clears throat> Did I not extinguish our lantern? Extinguish that thing. There we go, cool. Gazing upon the so, sea, <clears throat> I feel rather strange. I imagine we would not escape a plunge into the water's depths. Yes, well. Nobody wants to know where our third pawn went. I can't remember her name. She was awesome, though. She was a warrior. She was really helpful. Okay. Let's continue on to the village here. And I don't think this is the village, of course. Gosh, one thing about being very heavy. It sucks.
Usually I can use items to make up for how heavy I am or how much stamina consumption <clears throat> is needed to uh, carry all this gear. Because you consume way more stamina when you're very heavy. Each level of encumbrance, it goes up quite a bit. Putting that as Ought we not add an archer to our ranks? Indeed. Yeah. I admire the deft skill with which they hit their marks. Yeah. Well, I might switch myself out as a, f a warrior here for an archer build, depending on what's going on. I saw that there was one more class there that we can unlock, but it didn't say anything about it yet, so I don't know if we have the ability to. But if it's like some kind of magic archer, which would be sick, because that's what I play it as, Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen, I would totally switch to that and be the archer for the party. There's a chest over there. A common reward. Frustratingly so. Ah. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. Steal this from these goblins, they don't even see us. 120 rough crystals. Okay, whatever. We'll take it. Where's the three man party right now? Playing around on the cliffside. Gonna end up being a no man party. <sighs> so this action. Hang in there, Mark. So this action over here, huh? Uh, harpies, goblins. Kick the shit. Let's go kick these guys' ass. Goblins, master. Oh, well, I guess that's better. You know those rocks actually hurt. They just say sticks and bones. Wow. When you really wind up and hit that move, it is totally worth it. But it takes like half of your stamina. I mean, watch this one. This one's cool though. Oh! That was sick. I pinned the harpy in midair. Remember when old Randy Johnson hit that bird with that baseball? That was me right there. That was Randy for a minute. Oh, what does this say? A thorough perusal might reveal. Where does Yon Path lead? There's only one way to find what out. Interest. Does that mean I gotta jump? You guys take care of that for a minute. We're at least gonna get this treasure chest in case something happens. 1800 gold, that's great. So far we've found like over 5,000 gold this episode. So we got nothing by the house now. Wham. Oh. Oh, we'll get down a little earlier. They're not that strong because we're not getting a whole lot of experience. Only one way to find out. Yeah, but just gotta make sure you find out in the right spot, right? Oh, it's, is it that little shoreline down there? Yeah, there's. Mayhap you will think this a trifle, but one master I served was quite the carefree Whoa. soul, shunning armor in all its forms. You've given me much to think about. I wonder why she says stuff like that about her old masters. Because she says it quite a lot. All the pawns do. I wonder if that's a hint to us about their tendencies. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. I'm not running around without any armor, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Let's save the game real quick and then we'll jump down there and see what happens. Uh oh. Yeah, we would definitely get down, so. Now, I bet you there's a secret token around here. For sure. Look at the water. I am impressed with some of the water graphics in this game. Your weapon a magical like, the surface of that looks real. You got me a magical boon? Okay.
Yeah, look at that chest. Nice. Oh. Hey, where'd you come from? <laughs> Master, I only hope I did not disappoint. Well, I mean, at least you made it easy for me to get you. Okay, so we can get another pawn out of this rift stone here. 150 realm crystal rift crystals. Is this a special one? Yeah, this is a forsaken or forgotten one. Or it'll be a special pawn. Should your pack grow over full, have no fear. I'll lighten your load by spreading it out among us pawns. Fabuki, 22. His Arisen's level one, huh. Simple, logician, rating, 24 good, 23 hearts. Wow, so he's been around for a while. Delighted to meet you. Pawn badges. Pawns are awarded badges as a mark of their accumulated knowledge and experience. Whether that be proficiency in combat or expertise or experience in exploring, pawns with badges are more helpful to the Arisen in word and deed. Monster badges are awarded to pawns who have defeated a certain number of a particular type of monster. Such pawns are th by then so experienced with the creature in question that they know the best way to feed it and will offer beneficial advice to the Arisen. Aha! Uh -huh. Field badges are awarded to pawns who have camped a sufficient number of times in a particular region. When adventuring in said region, the pawn will display their knowledge of the area by offering beneficial advice to the Arisen. So that's cool. It's like your verified blue mark out there, guys. This guy knows his shit. Take this. It is something I found. I wanted you to have it. Well, give it to me. The false sovereign has been an enigma for far too long. I'll say we make for Vermin's eastern edge and investigate him. I have a rough idea of where our destination lies. Shall I show you there, master? Okay. Oh, now, isn't this lucky? Someone who knows the way. Yeah, he's already done this quest. <clears throat> well, I mean, to get the ogre badge or the cyclops badge, you had to beat 50 cyclops. That's a lot. I think we've beaten two. <gasps> Look at the griffin up there. Gosh. There's monsters everywhere. Go on, I'm following you. Man, I was so excited to not have to use a bunch of stamina items, blah, blah, blah. But now here we go. Using stamina. And there's even less stamina recovery items. I have like none. That is a pet peeve of mine in this game. Oof, you guys are gonna have to come back to me a lot. Oh no. Oh no. See his shadow? Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Cyclops. There's a cave in the vicinity that you've yet to explore. Whoa. I can take us there, using knowledge I gained beyond the rift. Oh, oh man. One shot, almost one shot, right? I didn't one shot it. This guy's pretty weak. You'll not live to regret this. That's so nice to could jump on the ladders and stand it up. Oh god. This boulder looks mighty heavy. But we might Good thing I didn't do that from up there, I would have definitely died. Okay, well, I'm down here in the water first of all, so let's come out our efforts getting me out of here. Shall we set it rolling? I don't think my lantern will work now that I'm down here too. Oh it'll work. Now the first one it would have definitely not worked. You have that drench debilitation. Where are you guys going? I'm gonna look down here for a second. You're all talking about it down here. Skeletons, master! Oh! Is 
said it. I don't know where he is. I'm just swinging wild. Scrap iron. We're gonna take it all. Can't wait to find out what's inside. Yeah, that's a weird spot. Yeah. Stamina. Stamina, stamina, stamina. Ooh, that, that guy's done. I mean, come on. Just toasted. Well, what's this? We're just leaving stuff on the ground. Tox find the coxer for Roverance. Those are both the good. Room. Has all yonder caught your eye? Yeah, it's yonder jackass. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Now, what might that be? Let us ponder how best to proceed. Ponder. You guys hear that? I heard it. Winter's Path Onyx. Onyx, a jewel prized for its use at Protective Charm. Scarcely seen in Vermont. Seeker's token, we've got 13 of those. Let me get that. <laughs> Let me get that, she says. Wake stone. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I thought I was getting it twice. Oh, because that double right there, that's the one that's really clutch. This guy's tough. Yeah, he just got sent flying. Uh-oh, more of them? Still doing good. Oh. Fuck like grab those two little uh level of things before we start fighting him. Get out the way, girl, get out the way. We got shooting at. Are we feeling the scores of that? Time yet. Let us pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off, and try not. All right, guys, okay. when we come back, we're going to continue exploring here. Is it safe? We're almost to the village. It's actually just up around the corner. How do I get out of this one? Oh, yeah, I just said B. And we're right here. We're going to cross over this river, go up there, and we'll see what this village is right on the border of this other country, Bethal. Thanks for watching. I'm Lucky, and the channel's game on. We'll see you later.